What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a dragon. We're going to do Vagar from House of the Dragon. So let's go landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Right, we're going to start with his eye, right? It's really small, just in here. And you're going to kind of go for like this lemon shape eye, right? Curves around. To there. And I'm going to give him like that lizard-like skinny eye just in there and then we'll start doing the scales and lines around his eyes right so he's got this like bumping line for his brow that will bump all the way down towards the snout down to here and then we got like some wrinkles coming around his eye all in here you can do as much of this now as you want like so okay so then the top of this bony sort of section right so it's like a ridge that runs down all the way down nearly to the tip top of his nose right and this has some bones sticking up like some horns coming across like so and of course we eventually come to all these spikes that are at the back of his head okay like that and there's like a center line that runs down to there and then we have curved lines just showing the sort of shape of this sort of ridge right so it goes up and then changes direction so go up change direction Just go the whole way up his eye. Okay, and this bony section kind of comes around the cheekbone as well. So what's got like Ridges coming down as well, like so. All right. So just at the front of the snout here, we've got the nostril. So just this big dark area here, and this will have like some ridges and stuff around. like that and then it kind of bumps across the front of the snout here goes down the outside of it down like so and you'll have the other nostril just in here as well and then we'll do like just some ridges around just to show some skin folds and things just coming around this nostril So then the rest, the other side of the head goes back this way, bumping and stuff because, you know, scaly creature all the way back. And eventually it'll join the neck and the neck armor, right? But we just get the head done first. So the snout then joins the top lip, curves around. And then we'll bring it back this way. It will pass the eye and this top of the skull sort of part goes up there so that's like the shape for the top skull okay we'll add some details and textures right so we've got like loads of bones up here so loads of like spiky kind of scales you know spikes and stuff coming off his head you just add these as you see so we'll just go like this and then we'll close off the bottoms some of them can be really long all right so we'll close off the bottoms of some of these Right, and then 
we'll just put some more sort of texture lines and scales and stuff coming along the top of the lip. I'm going to put the scars on them on as well on the lip here. Right, and then we got like all these wrinkles and stuff coming up the lip, right? stuff inside here as much of this texture now as you want to do really okay and then of course this ridge right it's on the other side of the head as well so we'll just draw that edge line for it here like that and then you'll have those sort of curved lines like so and then some of those bony spikes on the other side of the head some more spikes these spikes sticking off as well So then we have some spikes that run down the head and some more sort of armor sort of coming across, right? So we've got like, and it, the armor goes the whole way down the neck then as well. So we've got some spikes here. diamond sort of shaped things and then this snout has like all armor coming across here. So like this could be the side of it and then plates of armor just curving themselves across Right. So that's the top of the head pretty much. You can add more texture to it if you wanted, but I think I'll leave it there. So then our jaw, right, the bottom jaw, real big, right? Comes out, down, and there's loads of spikes on the bottom jaw as well, but we'll just draw the general shape first, right? So it comes down like so. And then we have the big bottom lip, chin, Coming up into here. And then where the top and the bottom lip meet, just here in the corner, come down. Around. To there. And then we'll add another scar line. Maybe another smaller one here. Right? So we gotta add loads of spikes coming off the face here, right? So you'll erase whatever lines you know you don't keep. Okay, and we'll just close off the bottoms. Like so, and then like some more texture on the face, like the lip line here with the curve. So 
the lines going around, you know, wrinkly dragon skin. And like scales and dart and Rhaegar is like, or Vagar, should I say? So it's an old dragon, very old. Right, and then we have that piece of skin that holds the sort of mouth together, this kind of thing. And there might be some texture inside there. And then teeth, right? So bottom layer teeth, might as well do that first. So we go, and they kind of overlap actually. So let's say, we'll just start here. We'll just do bottom layer. kind of start to spread out then as we get down. We start to see the gum line here. And so you can see like the gum line just coming along here, maybe missing some teeth in some places. And then the top teeth. Like so, and draw in your gum line on the bottom and just in between the teeth is going to be like colored real dark, like a dark skin color. You can't really see inside there. Feels like his tongue would be in here somewhere, but it's so dark, you can't make it out. So then, neck, right? So real dangly, sort of wrinkly neck, right? It kind of comes down, like lots of these layers of wrinkles and stuff. Back for the neck, coming down this way. This goes off the bottom of my page. And this, so we got like these typical sort of like scaly vein things coming down, right? So it's a real dark line. And so this is like heavy line because it's got shadow underneath. So we want this to be a thicker line than the rest. So we do this on dinosaurs as well. You know, if you've followed any of my dinosaur tutorials, the T-Rex and all those guys have lines like this, right? And then more wrinkles, okay, on the neck and stuff. So like layers of these. Wrinkle lines. So, and like texture and stuff on these as well, if you want, like. Dots and wrinkles and stuff. Wrinkly as we can. Right. Do do do.
just smoothing up some edge lines. But darkening up your edge lines sometimes can help. Right, so the top of the neck right up here is armor. So it just like bumps back all the way right down like that. Real long neck. And then you have like lots of scales and bumps and armor coming down. So say like we have this sort of armored section, kind of like turtle shell coming down here. And it can be like different sort of sizes and stuff. It doesn't have to be the same going the whole way down. Right, and these, if you want like texture on these, And then maybe another layer, right? So just like another sort of armored layer coming down here. So like coming down kind of like this sort of thing. Right? So like his spine kind of thing, just armor. Just go around these lines just to make them look a little bit more shadowed, like more sort of intense looking. skin here. This is all, you know, lizard skin and stuff. And we could have like some spikes every now and then. scales and stuff sticking off sitting off the skin okay as much texture as you want now and then thicken up your edge and I'm gonna add like some of the rope or hair or is it seaweed or something that hangs off Vagar in the show So like, sort of like coming down, just like hanging down here. And you'll erase any lines that you shouldn't see, of course, inside. All right, so this kind of just, I don't know, like seaweed or something. Kind of overlaps. kind of stuff here and you'll raise anything that you shouldn't see on the inside. All right, so just like thickening up lines now and stuff. Just like darkening up some areas that I want to stand out a little bit more. Okay, but there you go. That's how to draw Vagar from Game of Thrones. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.